It was just a casual day yesterday. Jose ran down to pick up a few of my packages. He came up, I opened this one from Hourglass, which is always exciting. And then I pulled out this one and I was like, <gasps> an ambient lighting edit palette, which if you're new here, I review and collect all of the lighting edit palettes that come out. I just love a good Hourglass powder. I, I think they're the best in the industry. Love to collect them, even if I have duplicates, I don't care. And so I pulled this out and I was like, who are you? What is this? Where did this come from? This came out of nowhere. So I immediately ran to my computer. I saw no advertisements, none on the Hourglass Instagram, none on Treadmood, none on Sephora. The only place I saw these were on the Hourglass website and turns out there was two palettes. So in my hands, I had this mysterious blush and glow palette, but on the front page of the Hourglass website, they also had a sculpt and set. Now they, they actually sent me two of these. I think they might've meant to send me one of each, maybe not, but I promptly ordered the sculpt and set because honestly, I was a little more attracted to that than the blush and glow. So today's video, I'm only going to be demoing the blush and glow, but I will still be going over the colors and sharing them with you on the sculpt and set after I do the demo of this. But what, why I decided to order the sculpt and set was because on the front of the website, it said it included best-selling and limited edition shades. And Hourglass always for the ambient edit palettes, they will always have best-seller shades, shades that I already have in my collection, but they normally have at least a couple brand new shades. And so I ordered it, paid for expedited shipping, so that video will be up soon with the demo and that. Um, and then I, I got into my research and come to find out, if you are a Hourglass collector, you might have a good number of these colors because while yes, there are limited edition shades in here, none of them are new. They have all been at least in some past palettes. If not, they can currently be purchased in the permanent line, which I'm not knocking it, but just hear me out, listen. <laughs> I'm gonna share with you, at least for the blush and glow today, I found all six shades within two palettes. So I just, this is big news. I gotta put it up front. I'll go into further detail. So if you have the butterfly palette from the holiday collection, you literally have four shades in this one. So if you have this, just, I would not buy the new blush and glow. And then also the remaining two shades were in the lighting edit ghost unlocked palette. So within, which by the way, looks like this, which is one of my all time favorite ambient lighting edits palettes, by the way. So within two palettes, I actually did already have all six shades in this. But if you're not a collector, and a lot of people aren't because these are expensive, your ears might perk up at this video because they do have some very good shades within the both palettes. Now, let's go over the details of the palettes and then we'll do the swatches and then I'll point out which colors are already existing and where. So this is the Ambient Lighting Edit Blush and Glow Palette featuring six, six shades now this one does not have a bronzer which i don't like but it does have three strobe light powders which are one of the most reflective highlighters from hourglass and then three blushes two are flushes and one is a glow so those are the different finishes and you'll see that in the swatches now the packaging i mean it's the same component itself and dirty already from my fingers <laughs> and then uh, but it is like a light purpley shade which I think is very very pretty I don't mind that they're all the same I buy all of these I think they look very uniformed and pretty with the mac matching packaging so let's take a look at it shall we so here we are we have the three blushes and then we have the three highlight shades let's go ahead and swatch the highlight shades first so we have incandescent strobe light, champagne strobe light, and then metallic strobe powder. I have to look to make sure I'm in the right spot. <laughs> okay, so this one, incandescent strobe light, is just a regular strobe powder. This one is champagne strobe light, which is a metallic strobe powder. So this one has a little bit more reflection on there. And then the last one is Celestial Strobe Light, which is also a metallic. So these two are gonna have a little bit more oomph to them. No finishing powders in this or anything. These are all three specifically highlight colors. And then going into the blushes, down here, Mood Flush, 
soft flush, and then sunset glow. Okay, and then let me swatch these. So, mood flush, soft flush, sunset glow, and this is the palette. Now, if you are not an Hourglass fan <laughs> like me, you'll probably say this looks like all the other palettes. And taking a step back, it totally does. But <laughs> I absolutely love Hourglass powders. I feel like they blend out like no other. I feel like they have a sheen, a finish that cannot be replicated by any other powder. And I feel like where they stand out is in real life. It's not on camera. It's not through photography. It's like when you're out and about, they just have this finish, which is blurring and shimmery without being too shimmery. It gives you such a healthy glow. I'll get off of my soapbox about Hourglass powders. This palette is $85, but to buy these individually is so expensive. I always encourage if you want to try Hourglass powders, these ambient lighting edit palettes are the best because they're the best value. You get the most amount all in one, a great curation. Now for the set of these two, it's not necessarily my all time favorite launch, because you don't get the best of all hourglass powders in this. And sorry, I know the lighting is really dark, but I want you to see the colors. But in some palettes, they have the finishing powder, they have bronzer, blush, and highlight. Those are the best value to pick up. These two that launched are very specific. Like this blush and glow literally only has blushes and highlights from the brand. And then the other one has like a bronzer, a couple finishing powders. We'll take a look at that one together. So to get the most out of Hourglass powders, you'd have to buy both for the whole collection which is over $170, which I don't think is worth it as a first timer. Unless somebody trying to dip their toes into Hourglass. But as an Hourglass lover, let's go ahead and pop this on the face because I need some color. I didn't even put bronzer on because I wanted you to see the true color of the products. And we'll see how deep these lean on the skin and how pigmented they are, even though I have tried all of these colors before. Because Hourglass is known for not being very inclusive, and this launch, honestly, you guys, I'm telling you now, they're just getting rid of extra product, which is not a bad thing. That is recycling right there, okay? They don't want the product to go bad. They had excess. I can't say that for sure, but I'm, I'm pretty sure. So this is what this launch is, which I'm fine with because it's it's a random spring launch. It's not like the holiday launches. Now, if they did this in the holiday launches, I'd be kind of upset, but anyways. Okay, we're gonna start off with Mood Flush Blush because I just think it looks so pretty. I love this one. This is one of my favorites. I experienced with this blush. It's just a great everyday blush. The colors of Hourglass themselves look seamless on the skin and I did set my face so my base right now I have the Valentino foundation and concealer and then I use a little bit of the one size translucent setting powder but that's it so here is mood flush I'm gonna get actually a different brush this is a different shape but it looks the same and then we're gonna go into number two here which is soft flush which has a little bit of veining in there but that does not affect really how it looks on the cheek, it's just how it looks in the pan. So I'm keeping these a little bit more towards the back of my cheek so we can use that third blush. So this one has a little bit more brightness, a little bit more pop, it's a little bit more red, where I like Mood Flush because it's very natural, has that mauve tone to it. Cute! I mean, I like both. I don't know if you can see, but it just looks one with the skin. The hourglass powders are the bestest. Okay, and then last one, we're gonna go into a Sunset Glow. I think though, these blushes are pretty close to one another for being in one palette. I will definitely critique that, and there definitely is not a huge variety in the depths here in terms of inclusivity. Like this shade I feel like looks very similar to this shade on the cheek. I can tell the difference between Mood Flush and this one, and Mood Flush and this one, but these two, are quite similar on the cheek. This sunset glow has a little bit more depth, which I think will make it beautiful in a medium to medium deep complexion. And I honestly think these will show up on a deep complexion, but again, a deeper complexion I don't think was really kept in mind too much about this palette, but I think it could work. 
So those are the blushes. Two of the three look very similar, which I, I'm not jumping for joy about. But the formulation, as expected, stunning. The sun is going away. I think it's about to rain. Not a bad thing though, because you can still see the colors great. Okay, now we're gonna go into the highlights. Okay, <laughs> I'm just laughing because I'm like, the blush and highlights, like they just aren't as different as I feel like they should be from one another. So we're gonna go into the strobe powder. This is not the metallic strobe powder, an incandescent strobe light. And this one is so pretty for that glow from within look. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It is so soft. I'm wiping off my brush. This is a Rare Beauty brush, by the way. And I'm going into, okay, I'm going into this one. Again, very, very pretty. I feel like the Hourglass highlighters are pretty versatile on skin tones because they don't have a very pigmented base. So they don't pull as ashy on a deeper skin tone like a lot of other highlights. They're almost translucent in a way. So they work for a wider variety of skin tones. So that is something to keep in mind with the highlight, but you can see the difference between the non-metallic and the metallic. Wiping off my brush, we're gonna finish off with the champagne strobe light. Then I'm just gonna pop this right here. So this one's a little bit more white, whitish compared to the other one, which had a little bit more gold. But are they really that different hourglass? And by the way, this shade right here, Celestial Strobe White, is in both of the palettes that launched yesterday. So the Satin Sculpt and this one both have this. So I mean, my cheeks, they look gorgeous. I'm actually gonna go ahead and put a little bit of blush and highlight on my eyes as well. You can totally do that if you want. I'm gonna go into this one right here because it is the most vivid. Just gonna pop that on the eye. You see, it just brings a little bit of cohesion to the look. And then I'm just gonna use this brush and I'm going to just put it all over the lid. And it just gives the most soft and pretty glow to the eyelid when you use the diffused brush like this. Just gonna build up a little bit more of my crease color. Okay, let me pop in some concealer and we'll talk about the repetition. Okay, so here's how I'm feeling about this palette. It is $85. I'm very thankful that it was sent to me, but you guys know my honest opinions come first. So as a whole palette, it is beautiful because it's hourglass powders. But looking at the palette colors itself, three blushes and three highlights, it, what I don't like about it is I want like a whole palette to get a whole look, but if the intention of this is literally just to get blush and highlights, I like that aspect. It's not bad, but... I feel like the colors are a little bit close to one another. Like these two blushes, I felt like looked very similar on the cheeks. And there were slight differences between these two highlights on the cheeks. But can you tell that much of a difference from side to side for such a pricey palette? You know, I would prefer a little bit more variety in that sense. But they all have a really beautiful formulation, of course. But that is something to keep in mind. Like, I liked how they had a different finish for this highlight compared to these two. I wish there was maybe a little bit of a finish difference in the blushes and definitely more of a tonal difference as well. So this isn't my favorite Hourglass palette that has launched, but of course it's beautiful nonetheless. If you bought the Butterfly palette that launched this past holiday season just a few months ago, you literally have four of the six shades in this palette, and you also have two of these shades that are in the new Set and Sculpt palette. So Incandescent Light right here is the, in this new palette. Right here is the Soft Flush blush. Right here is the Sunset Glow blush, which I, if I do remember, I said in my review that these two were close. And then right here is the Celestial Strobe Light, which is not only just in the new Blush and Glow palette, but it also is in the new Sculpt and Set palette as well. So we see this twice. So four out of the six shades are in this palette. So definitely if you picked up the Butterfly one, I don't think you need this palette. Um, save your money. I suspect this one was the least sold one. It's been on the websites for the longest. And even as a reviewer, this was my least favorite of the three that launched. It made the least sense. Just the flow of applying it didn't make as much sense. So 
I'm gonna say they had a lot left over, so they repackaged it into these new palettes. I can't say 100% for sure, but I'm sure they had a little bit too much stock and are trying to get rid of it, which, like I said, I just feel like, you know, it is a spring launch. It's not that big of a deal. It sucks that it was so close to the holiday launch, so this isn't something new and exciting if you did purchase the Butterfly palette. As long as they don't do it during the holiday collection, though, I won't complain. Because... They gotta get rid of the stock somehow. <laughs> but there are two remaining shades that were not in the Butterfly palette that you can get in the Lighting Edit Ghost Unlocked. And I think this was one of the most sold because they launched this a few years ago and it was so popular that they came out with it again in a second palette. So the remaining two shades, Mood Flush, my favorite blush right here. This is one of my favorite in this palette as well. And then this one has that Champagne Strobe Light highlighter. So. These two right here are in the new palette, and then we have the four shades from the Butterfly palette. So if you have these two, you have all six shades, my friend. So overall, not my favorite launch from Hourglass, but I will never, ever, ever be able to knock them for the quality. Choices of colors in here weren't my favorite. Choices of formulations weren't my favorite. Well, this is how it looks. Let's take a look at this new set and sculpt palette, which will be in my hands very soon. Regardless, I kind of like the concept of this. So here is the sculpt and set and what it looks like. So this one has some very popular shades, like between dim light right here and diffuse light. Sorry, it like zooms in when I go. I don't want to make you sick. But between dim light and diffused light, I found them in just already three of the palettes that I owned. Dim light is one of their very best selling. So from the Elephant palette, it has the dim light. But dim light is one of the most versatile colors. It's great for blending out blush or if you use a product that doesn't blend out well. Dim light is such a versatile shade. I don't mind it being in multiple palettes. This ambient lighting edit sculpture has both dim light and diffuse light. And then the ambient lighting edit ghost right here also has dim light and diffuse light. So those are the best sellers, but I do really like those shades, so I don't mind that. Now, I have the least amount of shades in this palette, whereas, you know, in the new Blush and Glow I have all six. I do not have all six of these, but I was easily able to find them. Uh, so we already know Celestial Strobe Light as well. We got that. So I was just looking for Filtered Light, Transcendent Light, and Golden Bronze Light. And Golden Bronze Light is in the Ambient Lighting Edit Volume 2. Transcendent Light was in the Ambient Lighting Edit Volume 3. So that was these palettes. So Volume 2 has one of the shades. Volume 3 has one of the shades as well. So already five... Oops. So that solves those two. And then Filtered Light? Was that the one I was looking for? And you know what? Looking around, I cannot find the Filter Light powder. I might be missing it. All of them have such a similar name, <laughs> but I did see it somewhere. I saw that Temptalia had it, so it was made in the past. I don't think that I have it, but regardless, I was pretty easily able to find all six of these shades, so just know that. Now, knowing these powders and being somewhat familiar with most of them, I mean, I'm happy about this palette. I love the diffuse light and dim light. I don't know if we also needed a filter light. I also don't think this will be very inclusive either. I will try it on myself to see. I think the bronzer I've used is very pretty. We just used Celestial Strobe Light together. That's pretty. I'm interested to see how Transcendent Light would work, if that would be a sculptor shade. So I'm not 100% sure about this palette because I haven't used all of these shades before. So I want to see how it works on my skin tone. I don't think that this one is very inclusive either. But I'm actually kind of excited about this one though. I love that there's all these finishing powders because in my opinion the finishing powders are one of the best formulas from Hourglass. One of the most unique anyways in terms of performance. Side note, before I finish my opinions, I also did order this ambient lighting palette diffused rose edit palette. So you will see a review for that one when the sculpt and set comes as well. I was curious. I couldn't help myself. But anyways, you guys, that was my demo of the new Blush and Glow palette that just launched from Hourglass. Overall, I mean, it is kind of a cash grab. These are not new and exciting palettes if you are a collector, but they still might be something that piques 
your interest if you don't own as many of the colors. So let me know your thoughts down below about these palettes. I would definitely say I was a little bit more excited when I opened it and I was like sharing with you guys, look what I found, look what I discovered. And then I actually did the research and I was like, oh, it's not as new as an, an exciting launch as I thought. But anytime Hourglass launches anything, I'm excited anyway. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review and found it helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one. Thank <laughs> you.